Hello fashion sellers, I hope you are fine. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. And on my channel, I do sewing techniques, refashioning of old or even new clothing. And I also do this segment, which is where I show you my designer clothing. And it is clothing that I have designed, pattern drafted, and also sewn. So what I'm wearing today is a two-piece mustard suit and I've had it a while. Uh, I've got a, a, a band to go with it as well and I'll explain that in a moment. So it's a alternate top and um, let's see and let me just show you the back. And I am wearing three quarter length pants with it. Um, let me see, the design of it was, it was quite easy actually. Um, I'm happy with the results of the way I've designed it. I don't think there's anything I can think of that was any particular issue. The pants were easy to do. Um, the top, yeah. If anything, I probably thought it would be a little bit tight here. Um, I'm not wearing a bra, so. You know, that's a little bit of a concern. It's not lined either. And, but no, I'm happy with the results. I think, I think it's, it's nice that it's flat, quite flat here. Um, and because it allows this to be a little bit of a feature. So that's, it sits comfortably in other words. And the shaping of this is really nice. I really think I've got the proportions right on here. And also this feature which is part of a, like a collar effect. And if I just show you how it's held on this, look back here for the back detailing of this little tab here. And then it has this kind of, this feature comes from the, um, the bottom of my pants where it's a turn up. So I just thought I might as well just add this here and use up as much of my fabric as possible. And yeah, I'm really happy with the, with the results and the shaping of it. I think it's really cute. So it has a zip at the front here. And yeah, it's, it's, it's a really nice feature. An invisible zip, because I, I want to keep with the, the simple, the simplicity of the design, the lines that are within the design. And yeah, like I said, this is an old neck. And I'll show you the rest of it now. We've got a slight graduation that's happening here. Which is so cute and we turn to the side you can see where um, it's <laughs> a high low effect happening here and um, this would have been more or less the same length the back would have been the same length maybe a bit longer than the front but I wanted this feature here this turn down <laughs> which kind of picks up with what's in my pants which are turn ups um, so yeah so it's a little Kind of pleat, let's say, really. And it's got a set of front bust darts, and that's the back. Now, as for the pants, uh, it's, it doesn't have a waistband, um, but it has uh, bias binding. I didn't, I didn't have enough of the other bias binding, so it's got a white bias binding on there. Um, so yeah, so it's finished off with bias binding. Um, it's got a centre back seam, again it's an invisible zip and a cute little gold button and that is picked up in my bag and it is a non-functional pocket so it's a double belt pocket but um, there's no bag, a pocket bag on the inside. So there, and like I said it's three quarter length so you can see and I've got matching shoes. I know, I'm sad. <laughs> so everything's matching, including my nails. And yeah, I've also painted my town nails yellow, or mostly yellow to go with my outfit. So yeah, I'm totally all in one tone. And my bag is this bucket bag. I actually made this suit 
it uh, must be a couple of years before I actually made the bag. Um, and it was, you know, the scraps that you tend to keep. And I just wanted a bag to go with it because I did ha have a gold bag that I, a gold clutch that I used to wear with, with this, but I prefer this one. Look how cute this is, look at this handle. Oh, that is so cute. So you've got the gold button that I was talking about, that's in my pants. And also this effect as well, this pleating, this pleat effect on, that I got, the, I, that was pinpointed from my pants as well, the hem of my pants, which is running through the whole outfit. So you see this effect in the back, the back, and also the, let me just step back, the pants, the turn on my pants. So all teams in together. So my bag isn't really um, a handbag construction. It's me just playing around. I just love to play around with um, ideas and I don't necessarily follow how handbags are made um, and how I've got this shape, um, which I'll reveal to you at some other time, but I am so happy with this shape. I really am. Look at the bottom. Oh, and that rim. I just like just finding out how things are made and just doing it my way. And the inside, there's a little pouch that's in there. And what I have done in here is that I've got a ribbon ribbon running through the top of the bag, like a casing. But so this doesn't slip out, I've kind of put little slits within the seaming of the bag. Let me just see if I can get that out for you, like so. So I've got a button, I've got a button on the inside and that's the little hole there in which it buttons onto so it doesn't come out. And it just comes out like so. And you've got the inside there. So I'm really happy with that. Like I said, it's, it's, it is a prototype. Um, and if I was gonna, Bring this to market this would be the design i'll be happy with this and the construction and the handle and the button placement within it the only thing that i'm not totally happy with is the little pouch on the inside and basically the reason for that is the closure of the bag so once it's inside the bag i can't close it like this and let me just put it back into the bag so you can understand why Can you see? So once it's closed, obviously the buttons cannot go into the holes once it's closed like that. Obviously I can sit it in like that and then it'll be okay. And I thought about that. Yeah, I suppose it. I suppose it's, it, it's a bag within a bag <laughs> carrying this. Um, but I think it, it only would need a kind of a flap in order to for that to be functional but I didn't have any more fabric to make a flap on top of here but um no I'm happy with it uh yeah it's fine I think I choose a different I think I choose this is ribbon and I'd rather have a cord a yellow cord running through there but no so that is my bag it is my outfit so you can see what I get up to when I'm designing. So yeah, it's, um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. So I'm gonna show you my, my, my look, because you know me, I have my glasses and they are a yellow tint. So I'm gonna put up a image of me so you can see the whole look. So I have my sunglasses with a gold rim and then I have some gold earrings and a 
ring, a costume jewelry ring. At one time it used to be gold. Yeah. So if you are new to my channel, definitely consider subscribing. It is really worth subscribing to my channel. And if you enjoyed this, please put any comments that you have about this video within the comment box below. And I'll keep on doing this because the last one I uploaded, there were lots of comments about the fact that they enjoyed the fact that I was actually talking about my outfits when it comes to construction and I really do think that helps. And yeah, I'll continue doing them because I enjoy doing them and also showing you what works and what didn't work and explaining them a little bit more in detail. So if this is the kind of thing that you are wanting to see from me, then please let me know in the comments as well and I'll make sure that I upload videos talking about outfits that I've designed, pattern drafted and also sewn. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so you receive notifications. Please do share this video and like this video and I will see you next time.